What's up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. Welcome back to another episode. We have a special treat for our OG TRC fans today. For those of you who've been following the channel for a long time, this is one of the first cars we featured. It's gotta be about six plus years ago on the channel. This car's been through a lot of different iterations over the years, and Jose brought it out today to show us the final form of the car. Let's go check it out. Yo, what's up, Jose? What's going on, brother? How's everything? Great to see you. Good to see you, Thanks too, Thanks for having man. us out, man. It's been a long time since I've seen this car. How long and has it been, Abby? Bro, the first time we saw this was what? Six years ago? About six years ago. And it looks quite different now. Yeah, it is totally <laughs> different. It's so good to see it in its final form, man. Go ahead and pop the hood for us. Sure. Car is just so aggressive looking, man. I Come love it. Come a long it. way. Thank you very much. Woo -hoo -hoo. Bro, you can eat off this engine bay. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was a 3.2 uh, stroker built by uh, Chris Gore. What turbos on it? Uh, we're running a Precision 86-85. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, with a 120 back housing. So Four. safe to say this thing makes some jam. It makes some good power. <laughs> and, it, and it makes some good hit, too. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. You got to walk around. This thing is just ridiculously aggressive. back here interior is all original uh, the only upgrade that we did on the interior was putting in the four-point cage uh, putting a rear carbon delete uh, seats are, are stock they're very comfortable the only difference now is shifter is different because we went yeah. with a 340 uh, stage 4 so we actually put a shifter in place so well, uh, yeah last time we saw it was a v160 it was a Super, v160 right? right that we had sitting in this bad boy yeah so now it's the, uh, I guess the A340 is the factory Toyota transmission. Right, uh, yep. stage four. It was built by ATF. That's the same one we had in our in our 240. And it, and it runs great. They run awesome, right? Yeah, it runs awesome. Well, yeah. I thought I, I remember you saying that, is this, still, is this paddle shifted? We also got it to where we can paddle shift as an option, or we can just run it on auto. So we have these options on the car. That is so badass. Yeah, and, and, and it works flawlessly. Dude, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, man, you ready to take me for a ride? Let's go. quite a while since I've been in this passenger seat. Yeah, yeah. So I know the car was making, what, uh, 1400 through the six speed, right? Right, yeah, on the V160 was making uh, 14, yeah, 14 and change. <laughs> Especially this thing's tiny. It's like a little baby yeah, Supra. It's a, it's a little small you know? baby Supra. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> a is. A small baby Supra. That's so good. And then we uh, <laughs> then we decided to just make some changes on the car, and we decided to go with the A340, put it on the auto. Our car did uh, 1200 uh, on the auto, nice. and uh, that's where it's sitting at right now. At about how much boost was that? Uh, 52 to 53 pounds of boost. Nice. Yeah, the, the automatics rob a little bit more power. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Listen to that sound. I just love that. And something about the three twos, they just sound extra magical. They sound, yeah, they're very beastly, man. God. I've been doing a lot of 2J features lately, and man, it's it's uh, it's got me itching. Listen, I enjoy. It's, it's I enjoy, got me itching. I enjoy the auto. I enjoy the auto. What a difference from the V160. It shifts awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, awesome, dude. ATF did a great job on this stage four. Uh, we got no problems right now, and it's a fun car. Fun is an understatement because you can just feel how light the car is. The car is. 
and when it's just it's just screaming through the RPMs, man. It's, yes, it. I mean, obviously it that does. was like a low boost pull here because yes, it is I mean, on this, low boost right this now. car is just the power that it makes for the tire that it's on. The power is just it would overpower that tire yes, almost immediately. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't go too much on any type of power. But you also have another Mickey Thompson setup. You were saying I do. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna switch them back out and, and see how those work. Hell yeah, you man. Know, on the car, you know. So like the uh, like this like the TRC Super back in the day. You got the little trim pot switch, so you can go up and down and boost, and you know, any going anywhere from wastegate all the way to kill mode. We call that the magic switch. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man! So cool. Man. I love how it's not loud in the car. No, it drives smooth. It doesn't shake. Like I mean, dude, you can cruise in this thing. I feel like you could daily drive this thing, and it makes it makes 1,200 horsepower. <laughs> yes, and, and, and you know what? You got AC, you got everything in this we, car. We're, we're bumping so, the AC so, in so, here. So, so nothing was cut short in the car. So uh, how does this uh, paddle shift deal work? All right, so right now it's on auto, uh, and that's the way we've been riding on it right now. There's a there's a button over here that we will actually be able to take it into the paddle shift, and where we can actually downshift at this point. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. So you can downshift from here, you can, you can downshift from here. That's no awesome, problem, bro. And at this point, we can go right back into auto. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man! So that, that was and a really thing, nice feature thing. that we wanted to add to this to this build, yeah. and uh, it, it worked out. It worked out good, man. So this thing has overdrive too, which is so sweet, just for like highway cruising. And highway cruising, yeah. Like you can drive this car anywhere. Yeah. The only problem is the tank is small, so you'll have to <laughs> stop a few times running E85. Yep. But otherwise, yep. on that, it's it's perfect, man. Awesome, dude. So when I was peeking at the engine bay there, I, saw, I think I saw 12 injector, huh? Yes, this is running 12. <laughs> That's a bad boy fuel system, bro. <laughs> it's running 12 2150s. 12 2150s. 12 2150s. Uh, Jesus, bro. Yeah, we're running a well, wow. done, well done pump in the back for, for boost. And uh, the small pumps are all Bosch's for surge tank, uh, fuel tank. Jeez, So we, we got tons of fuel. So fuel system will never be an issue here. <laughs> uh, it, it won't, not at all. That's wild. <laughs> we got all the fuel the car will need. And I, I love that, um, the way that you guys did the um, the coil pack. Yes, 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 yes. So Richie uh, came up with that design. Because of course, sitting on a 1J head, we, we didn't have that option of putting a plate in the center. So we just, you know, made up a, a yeah. plate for the side and, and ran it right along. Oh the, yeah, uh, cool bracket the looks super clean. Yeah, it's a super nice job. Dude, so I got to give you huge props. The way this thing drives, it's so sorted, man. You know what? I enjoy driving this car a lot, but what I want to do now is that I want to put you into this seat and I want you to take it for a drive. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Dude, okay. I mean, I, I'm, I want I'm totally you to down. take it out. I want you to have fun with this car. I want you to let me know how you feel behind Dude, this Hell yeah, Dude, I'm absolutely down. All right, I, I can't I can't turn down a 2J ride. <laughs> Let, let's do this. You know me, I'm I'm a I'm a diehard 2J guy. So absolutely, I know that. I absolutely cannot turn that down. So we're going to do this right Hell now. Yeah, dude. Tight chassis, yeah. All right, so we're in auto here. I say we uh, put this thing in manual, bro. Let's do it. All right, so we flip this, and we can paddle downshift here. <laughs> That's so, so cool, cool, bro. A little partial throttle. They gave us his blessing to to turn, turn the boost up. up. Turn her up a little bit. 
with that being said, guys, we're absolutely respecting Jose's car. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. We're just gonna give you guys some really cool sounds. Controlled though, oh, yeah. it's, it's not like a wild kick out in the rear. The power doesn't, the boost doesn't kick in wildly. 100%. A nice delivery. Credit to the tuning that was done on this. Oh yeah. The drivability is really good in this car. I mean, this is amazing. So we'll downshift down in a second here. The paddle shifting is freaking sweet. Like, you know, they're gonna hear that on, on camera, but in this cabin with all that whistling noise coming through, oh, man. Is, that's insane. This is a really cool driving experience. Very cool. I'm trying to figure out what I would equate this to, but it's weird, because you're not really sitting on a back tire. There's enough room in between you and the tire, but you are kind of sitting on a back tire, though. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a really short wheelbase. It is, yeah. It feels, uh, it feels very unique. I'm not sure what other car I would compare this to. I'm gonna say, this is too much power for this, <laughs> for this chassis. Which isn't always a bad thing, no, right? No. I mean, it has its uses for a track, but on the street, obviously, you have to be careful. Oh, yeah. I mean, this thing just needs a fat tire in the back. Yeah. And, and it'll be happy. It'll be much more happy. 100%. Without a doubt. So we got the AC blasting. We got 2J sounds. <laughs> we got tire spin. And well, this thing hauls ass. Like, what more do you want? What more you could know? you want yeah. in, in a Sunday cruiser? Yeah, you know, in, a, in a weekend vehicle. And it's reliable. It turns on and goes. Toyota, you know? Man. Big, big props to Jose and, and his, his guys and his boys to putting this thing together. Because it runs flawlessly, honestly. Everything works inside. AC's blasting, like. And this car was not slapped together. This, this has been a project he's been building for several years. You know, it takes a lot of experience to be able to put something together like this and, and it's drivable and, and you can make it into a street cruiser like this. Too, oh yeah. So. I mean, I really wonder what this thing would top out at if you let it go. I mean, with this gearing and the transmission, I'm I don't know what, Very what curious your engine's running, but dude, this thing, I would, I would guess to say this thing will go to over 200. I would agree with you on that. I mean, it seems like it's one to keep going like 20. Like really riding it out. The gearing's super long. Can you do one more like? Being able to control and hang RPMs where you want them 
and get in the, in the get in the gear and it, I mean you can really drive it kind of like a manual it takes the fun factor through the roof these cars stock are already pretty fun I mean I've driven a couple stock ones add like wide body kit big power nice tire I mean it just like increases the fun factor by like a thousand percent idea this thing's on bags it is on air right <laughs> dude that's wild that's pretty sick was that same hard parking hard parking parked it hard here <laughs> that's what the youngsters call it uh, young 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 chaps call it hard parking hard parking so congratulations you parked hard I parked hard yeah <laughs> So yeah, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Rich from Roll Racing. Uh, he's been behind this car from the beginning on the first video. Uh, he's done all the work to this car, all the fabrication to this car. Uh, he did an amazing job. Big shout out to your brother. And uh, Chris, uh, Chris B, my tuner, he did an amazing job with the tuning. The car runs flawlessly. Uh, we, we have no issues with this car. He's the uh, Haltech man. He's a Haltech man all the way. <laughs> and you know, Junior, wiring he did a great job with this car he's got everything functioning uh down to the ac so i mean everything's working ac ev cluster i mean everything um the, the, the you team, think that you think that this this swap came this way from the factory <laughs> and that's so how clean. it feels like it it's you know so when clean. you look under the hood it, that's the way it feels so the whole team did an amazing job on this car um cars are full circle and uh i just want to give them a big shout out for everything that they have done on this car yeah, man. And, and so, I mean, it's been a long journey with this car, right? So you, a long you've journey. Been, I want to say you've been building this thing for what, like seven years now? About seven years. Wow. And it's gone through so many transformation, you know, from, from wheels to exterior to paint. Uh, this car was one silver when we first did the video. Yeah, I remember uh, that. It's, it's now the 2020 Supra uh, silver. No uh, way. Yes, sir. And, um, That's awesome. And then we decided to get some bigger tires on the car uh, to get a better feel on, yeah, on, so on you power. Yeah, 315s or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we we'll went, have to plug a clip, of, like just looking at this car, like dead from the rear, and it's just so wild how <laughs> how much tire you guys spent on this thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And we did that to get that. You know what I mean? Uh, we we went with a rally back uh, V2 uh, wide body kit. Uh, I, I love the kit. I, I think it's a clean looking kit. And uh, wheels by CCW Beadlock. Big shout out. Uh, so you know everything came together well. Yeah, the CCW set it off, man. Yeah, it, it actually It's did. not often you see the, the beadlock CCWs. No. And, and I'll tell you, bro, that touch is just it's, it's, it's perfect. perfect. That's, that's absolutely. Perfect.